a short but very powerful update guys good morning good afternoon good evening guys wherever you are on this beautiful one whenever you're watching this video welcome to the bitcoin family channel sabadi cup yes welcome back to thailand it's cloudy it's even raining but i don't give a fuck i love being back in thailand it feels like coming home guys uh, amazing videos are coming ahead the next couple of months of course on the beach and the booties and the bitcoin and everything booming around the bitcoin price going up but today a short update on our life also amazing Bitcoin charts and maybe even an inspirational quote at the end. Let's figure out what to do. But let's quickly jump now first into the news for today. And yes, the update about our family. There is a ton of news today, guys. There is Micah Saylor, again, adding a shitload of Bitcoins to MicroStrategy. Then we have the UK that are now by law stating that USDT now officially in UK is a property so yeah there's a shit load of news that is also why the price is pumping up of course all the way up to 60k a lot of positive news the most positive news is that we are back in thailand guys and we are now back on a five-year visa and how to get this five-year visa is very simple guys they call it the dtv a DTV visa and you can do this DTV visa as for example a Muay Thai course of a year or a cooking class or as a digital nomad but one of those three categories will give you a five-year visa it is very simple I will soon make a, a video about that how we did it as a family uh, one person needs to do it and the others come on a spouse and children visa so they all get that visa that, as well uh, you need to have a certain amount of funds on your bank account or in your PayPal wallet or on your trading account because yes we are still bankless and we uh, use the screenshot of our trading account as a digital nomad that's my profession and that is my assets and that's how we got a five-year visa which means we can stay 180 days in Thailand then without leaving Thailand we can extend it with another 180 days that's 360 days and then we need to leave for one day at uh, the minimum and then we leave and then we come back and you get it again 180 days also if you leave in between every time when you re-enter Thailand within those five years you get 180 days visa so that's a awesome system for all those people that want to have and stay longer in Thailand don't want to have the very expensive visa you know the visa elite visa that's really expensive that's almost a million Thai baht for like five years or ten years this one is only 10,000 baht so that's the news for the day if you want to go into Thailand become a VIP and I will give you a little bit more information about that of course as well guys now let's quickly jump in the charts on this beautiful Saturday morning to show you what is happening to Bitcoin today bam the first chart for today guys is this four hour chart on this four hour chart we see clearly that amazing buy signal that went all the way from the bottom over there this buy signal all the way up you could have sold the sell signal or when a candle closed down below the yellow stepping line it didn't close down below so you should have still been in the trade all the way up till here guys and this is all like i told you with this chart a couple of years ago i told you mostly when we find this green line or was support over there became resistance we fell down it was resistance then we broke it we retested it and at this moment at that view i told you if we move like this go up go down we will explode up and that's exactly what we do exactly to that 60k target i also told you in a previous video because that was of course the gaussian channel the Gaussian channel, the five-day candles, I told you we need to keep support on this midline. We did keep support on the midline. We are now hunting for that 60k and even we could take it to 62k, which is now the top of that Gaussian channel. I'm very happy. I'm very happy that we found support over there because else we would have dropped all the way back to 48k. Now this looks really um, interesting. In two days and 14 hours, this candle will close. Let's hope it will close around the 62k level and then the next candle will go and break that Gaussian channel again or maybe even two candles, doesn't matter. As long as we keep going and breaking um, that top Gaussian channel line so that we can hunt for the rest of the bull market for new all-time highs. And those new all-time highs will be a little bit like this over here. Let me see if I do this. My face is still in the right place. Yes, it is. This is the first chart, guys. On this chart, you can see um, clearly that every time the same thing happens. We have these trend lines, those black ones over there. And the moment that we break these trend lines, that is when we retest that trend line, and that is when we pump after. So there is a pump after. 
Now we had a trend line, we had a double top, so it's a little bit different trend line, more horizontal, but then we break out, we retest, and now it's time to slowly start and break out. And that's gonna take all the way into 2025. So yes, now we are breaking out and we are breaking out all the way to the end of 2025 where I see the bull market top in the last quarter of 2025. <laughs> How high will that be? We don't know yet. Of course, it can go to that top blue line and it will be 300K per Bitcoin, but I would be very happy with 160,000 US dollars per Bitcoin. So from those areas, I will probably already take profit a little bit earlier, but I will start to take profit from like 100K, 110K, maybe 120K, maybe even at 90K, I'm already starting to take profits because I am just playing the game that I play always. When the indicators tell me to take my profits, I will start to take profits. And yes, I will share that with you on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel, then you can follow me and me taking profits and you also taking profits to buy back again in 2026, 27 at the bear market bottom, guys. Amazing chart. Um, if we look at the next chart, we get, oop, we get this one. This one is showing you um, the performance around the halving. So this is the halving moment here, the zero moment. And we can see the performance at that moment was 4.17 times the bottom price over there. This was two times, two five times the bottom. That's the current one. And then we have 2.09, that's where we are now. 1.23 was this one, the yellow one. It was halving two. So we have halving one, two, three, and four. Uh, this is of course the fourth halving. We are now underperforming halving two but we are outperforming halving three. We are still in between. Now, where does this end? The first bull market cycle ended at 282 times uh, the beginning, like the bear market bottom price over there. This one ended at nine times and then eight times. Where is this one gonna end? Even if it's just gonna end around four times, this is what they mean with diminishing returns and we could have a smaller performance than we had in the previous two ones, but that would still mean we go above 100K in the end of 2025 because yes that will take another 360 days after the halving before we could reach these prices guys amazing chart now why do i always tell you to zoom out um because now my face of course was in the middle of the chart and now i will put my face over there so you still have a second to look at it without my face in the chart um, so we have these two ones over here this one over there the orange one so the orange one is in between the blue and the yellow one can we end between those two or will we end at the level of like three or four times um, the halving price which could be a really nice uh, performance really nice performance guys amazing chart uh, check the numbers pause the video if you want to analyze it a little bit more i found it on twitter and you will probably find more on this website nydig just check it over there guys now the last thing i want to teach you this weekend is this one this is when you look at the day chart you will be freaking out every moment. Oh, we are going up. Oh yeah, beautiful, we are taking pro. Oh no, we are going down. Every time you will be in these um, emotional states of excitement or fear. If you zoom out into the years, you will have less emotions. Less emotions will slowly only go up. And if you zoom out a little bit more to decades, then you will have zero emotions because then you understand that parabolic curve is only ending somewhere very high for Bitcoin. And if that would be 1 million per Bitcoin or 13 million per Bitcoin or 21 million dollar per Bitcoin, we don't know. But if you zoom out, you understand you don't need to worry about anything because everything is going to be all right, of course, but also because the price just will slowly grind up. And we will have some bumps if you look in the yearly and if you look in the daily, it will be a lot of bumps. But in the end, the result will be this one. That is why you should be in Bitcoin, guys. Now, next one, and again, my face was in the wrong place. Uh, terrible video today. I'm not gonna uh, record it again, but now you can see it better, guys. Sorry for that. Uh, yes, my first day in Thailand. Uh, still need to get used to the time. Let me have that excuse. Now, uh, check the chart. That's what the difference is. Between decades, years, and days. We need to focus on decades and years. We must not zoom in and look at the days check this one or that one. I hope you really enjoy the charts. I'm not gonna talk too long about the charts, but it's very simple, guys. Short-term volatility, amazing times to take 
profits and to make profits. You can beautifully trade that 50K to 60K move, maybe from 60K back to 55K. All of this volatility is there for traders to trade Bitcoin. And that volatility, volatility is also happening because traders are trading Bitcoin. So it's amazing for day traders. And yes, it's also amazing for the people like us that zoom out the investors because Bitcoin finally that we bought around 16K, 20K, maybe even now around 55K is also in profit. So more people will be in profit because of that and it will of course lead to that last push in towards this end of the year of which i still believe it's going to end in between 85 95,000 US dollar per bitcoin before we get another dip in january guys and then of course 2025 for me fully bullish all the way up into September where we see a bull market up and maybe even October, November, December, it doesn't matter. Normally it always happens in the last quarter of that bull market cycle year and that is 2025. There is a lot of people believing that the bull cycle might already end in 2024. We go now all the way up into December. Uh, I'm still like very cautious. I'm like, no, nah, 2013, plus four years, 2017, plus four years, 2021, plus four years, 2025. And mostly September, mostly 17 months, around 17 months after the halving, guys, and that would bring us to September. So yeah, check my video for a couple of days ago with the strategies, if you wanna understand what is the best strategy to buy and sell your Bitcoins. Now, let's jump into the last part of the video. The inspirational path for today, guys, of course, has to do with Thailand, because every time when I come back to Thailand, I realize how lucky and how happy I am to be here. Every time, it's the small things. But the most important thing that I really directly feel when I get into Thailand is the thankfulness. Not only my thankfulness, but the thankfulness of all those people. The smile, they're all smiling. They're all thankful for everything. They are happy to receive you as a client. They're not like, oh yeah, here's the key. No, they show you around the house. They show you around the garden. If you go into the store and you forget to weigh something in the supermarket, they will take the products. They will go and weigh it for you and they come back and they keep smiling. They are thankful for you as a customer, thankful for you as a tourist, thankful for you visiting their beautiful country. We in Europe can really learn something from them. The last seven months I've been spending in Spain and yes, believe me, I had an amazing time in Spain also with my family. But if I compare the mentality of the Spanish people working on the terraces, restaurants, stores, shops, whatever, with the mentality of the Thai people, that's a huge difference. They are happy with you as a customer. There it's more like, ah, yeah, you are depending on us. You need our products? Come, 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 come. It's the complete opposite world. You will directly feel that when you enter Thailand, it's like, you're a guest and you are treated as a guest, you're, you're received as a guest and they will just keep making you happy with everything that you do in Thailand. So for me, that's always a really big lesson. Also for me to never forget to be thankful, to be thankful for everything in life, to be thankful that we as a family are able to live this lifestyle now here in this beautiful place in Phuket. I should also be more thankful for all those things. And yes, of course, I know that I mostly I'm thankful, but sometimes I also forget. Sometimes I'm like also running the rat race of educating people in Bitcoin. I want to make a daily video. I want to educate as much as possible people. I want to like convince more people to go into Bitcoin and to stay into Bitcoin and to use that as their like standard capital. But sometimes I also need to be very thankful for all those people that already did that. And more and more people are doing it. And that is just amazing. Yesterday I went for one drink, no alcohol, just a tonic. And then a Dutch guy came to me and he's like, yeah, I recognize you. And um, I'm very thankful that you are sending me the clients. I, mean, I didn't send you any clients. Yeah, but a few families are coming here and they all mentioned we are coming to Phuket because of Didi. And he's like, oh yeah, I know Didi. So yesterday he saw me, he's like, yeah, there's a two clients I'm talking to now. And they all want to rent houses here. A lot of people come to Thailand because they want to try out that beautiful vibe that is here, that vibe that I missed in Europe. And yes, I enjoyed Europe and I was thankful for every moment I was there in Europe and was able to do all the things that I want to do in Europe. But there is a difference. The difference here is I feel at home. Why? Because the people make me feel at home. So 
that was everything for today guys i hope you really enjoyed today's short video on a saturday i'm doing this on a saturday because i didn't create a video on thursday and friday i was flying a whole trip again uh, of course also with teddy in the airplane and everything uh, i will also make a video on how to take your dog to thailand maybe some people are interested but that will be short videos i will make somewhere in the future guys it's not the, not the biggest interest of the most people but i will do those videos as well so that you are also educated on to travel as a family and with a dog for example um, and thankful for you watching this video for all the subscribers for all you following this channel but still give it a thumbs up share it with your friends and family subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell, and let me know down below what do you think about my new view because that way is my house that way is my view and my pool is there beautiful but you will get a room tour very soon guys and i'm thankful that my beautiful wife Romain now is walking towards me with a knife oops that's like dangerous <laughs> thanks for watching guys wish you an amazing saturday see you tomorrow on monday again bam